Hey, this is Dina, and I just wanted to do a quick overview of how to use Metricool. This is the dashboard, and if you don't see this screen, you're going to click on the planning tab up top, the third one over with a little calendar. And then to add a post, you're going to click on a time. Oh, wait, we've already passed that day, I think. Today's the third, so we need to go to, let's go somewhere out a little farther. So up here in the top middle, it has the dates, and you can click an arrow to go to the next page over. Maybe. <laughs> it's not happening very quickly. Okay, it's just being very slow right now for some reason. Okay, so we're here on January 11th through the 17th. So you can click Create a New Post. And you can go over here and you can add exactly which date you want, would like to do. Like on Wednesdays, we might want to do something like Wine Wednesdays. Or Fridays could be like Friday Funnies and we could have a funny quote post or something like that. So it would be nice and easy to go through and we could schedule all of the Wednesdays out at once. So what we're going to do, if you want to schedule onto different platforms, you can click the icons at the top of this create a new post box and it'll show you when there are errors happening so on Twitter you can do let's go ahead and add a picture here we'll add an image and let's see if I can find my image I want to use here I'm trying to remember what I named the image I saved Let's see, I'm going to use this Facebook post here. I'll go ahead and save that real quick. So we're going to call that Egg Bowl. And then we'll save that into the downloads. So then I'm going to add this Egg Bowl post. Might not have saved yet. I might be able to just drag and drop it. Yes. So you can drag it from your downloads folder. So now the egg bowl is here. Now I want to go back and grab, let's see, I want to grab the copy for that. So we're going to grab this copy here that was created. And then we can post this into the content area box. Now this is a really big post. So I want to go through and make these shorter. I like to only have a couple sentences at most into a paragraph. So I want to make that a lot shorter so it's easier to read. You can see how hard it would be to read on mobile because it's just very long. I think that block is too big. So I want to make it a little shorter in that one too. Okay, so now you can see we have several hashtags here at the bottom. However, in, in Instagram, we can add more hashtags, I think up to 30 hashtags. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do all of these different social media channels at once. And I do like to have Corky be capitalized everywhere. It's not a deal breaker, but it's nice to have it the same through every, every channel. Okay. So we had that done, and now I want to edit it by network. And you can see down here in the bottom, whoops, my picture's in the way. Down here in the bottom, it has these red errors right here. So that means we need to do something specific for each channel in that platform. So we're going to edit by network. We'll click that, and then that's going to open up this area here, and you can see these little tabs. And you can see there are red dots on each of the tabs um, that have errors. So let's click on the Twitter or the X one first, and then you'll click Edit Content. The error that's on Twitter is there's 280 characters maximum. What we're going to have to do is delete more of the content so it's less than 280 characters. So let's go ahead and delete that one. Now we're at the right one so we can actually post that Twitter one and schedule it. 
So you can schedule it at the same time as the other ones or you Okay, so now we're going to go to look at the Facebook one, make sure it looks good. The paragraphs look fine to me. They're not too long now. Then we're going to go to Instagram and click edit content. It looks pretty good, but Instagram, I like to have more hashtags. So in Metrical, it's pretty great because you can go down here to the hashtag feature and we can type in some potential hashtags and it's going to populate hashtags for us here. There might not be a lot of AI recipe hashtags yet, which is good because then that means there's not a lot of competition. And one of the things that I like to do in Instagram or when I do hashtag strategy, I want to use a couple that have high numbers and then some that are low numbers also. So I don't really like any of these hashtags. I'm not sure what those are even for. So I'm going to narrow it down. Let's put a space in between and see if AI recipe comes up. And it's a little bit slow, so it's not perfect, but I do like it for coming up with seeing how many hashtags there are. Okay, it doesn't even have any hashtags for AI recipes. So let's go ahead and do one for AI recipes. I'm going to put a hashtag there and see if that makes a difference. The one thing I don't like about Met Metrical is the slowness of the hashtag creation, but it might be out there searching Instagram for those hashtags. So I'm going to go ahead and add this one to the post. Oh, and here we go. These are ones that I've used before. AI recipe generators. So this is going to pick out ones that I have already used. So if I click AI, let's see AI, is it coming up with any? These will give specific ones that I maybe have used. But let's go ahead and try to use this hashtag generator one more time. Let's type in recipes and see what comes up for that. There's going to be a lot. You can see this top one, AI or recipes is 8.17 million hashtags used. That's a lot. So I don't want to use a whole lot of those because the competition is so big. So I would like to scroll down and pick out some hashtags that have smaller numbers because they're easier to go after because the competition is less. So we could do meal pep recipes. We could even go down smaller, niche down even more. We're down to 27,000. 15,000. Look at all these recipe ones. But let's go down here to the really low ones. Here we could type in vegan keto recipes. That's super niche. Squash recipes, which is really random. Mom's recipes. Oat recipes, because any of these recipes can be made in Corkaby and the recipe maker. Fresh recipes. And let's see if there are any other ones that might be good for us to use. Almond flour recipes, that would be good for allergy people. Easy chicken recipes. So I do love this because look at all these options we can choose from. Greek yogurt recipes, it's totally random. So we can target a lot of random niches in each post, which is great. All right, so we can add uh, 10 more. We don't always have to add all the hashtags in. We could do 10, we could do 20. We could do different formats. Like I would like to try where we put 30 hashtags in each one, just so we can test to see what kinds of posts get the best engagement. Oh, here's AI recipes. There's 32.6 thousand people using that hashtag. And I would definitely like to be one of the thought leaders in the AI recipes. So we should use AI recipes, AI recipe generator, generator. I like recipe magic. Okay, we're up to 30, so that one's done. Now we can look at global presets and we can also add links here too. So if we have affiliate links, 
or we want to send somebody straight to Corkaby. I haven't set up these smart links yet, so that might be something you could do here. We'll go ahead and click Corkaby. I do have one smart link. Target link must be specified. And I will have different landing pages for Corkaby so we can try out different headlines and that kind of stuff. So that looks good so far. We're going to look at Instagram presets, collaborators. We don't have collaborators yet, but once we have some influencers, we could add collaborators to our posts too, which will be really powerful. We can also go to LinkedIn here. We can edit the content and make sure there's nothing crazy here. It looks like we can also add a smart link here. Corkaby is our only option as of now, but we can add more of those. So I'm just going to send people to the home page for now. Okay, we've got that added in. Pinterest has a red dot, so that means there's an error on Pinterest. So we're going to edit the content for Pinterest. Now Pinterest also looks good when it's in a pin format. So we can also change the media here. So we can delete this media here and we could add a pin post shape graphic instead of the square post. The square still works, but Pinterest is formatted for the long shape format. Okay, so we can also add a link here. So we'll add the Corkaby link just for now. It's HTTPS, Corkaby.app. And in Pinterest, we also have to choose a title. So let's put dietary so you can just make something up here. You can use ChatGPT to come up with something. Dietary restrictions. No problem. And then in Pinterest, you also have to choose a board to put it on. So we have AI recipes. We might want to create one that is for specific meal plan types. So if you have, we might want to do a series on keto or paleo or vegetarian or anything like that. For now, I'm going to do it on AI recipes. And then we can also put a link here for Corkaby again. And that's also good for SEO for the blog. Okay, so the Pinterest is looking good. Now I'm not sure. Oh, the post date. It has some red, so let's go ahead and make that post date on the 8th instead. Okay, and the link for the smart links needs to be changed here. And like I said before, I don't really know much about the smart links yet, but I would like to use that. I'm sure it's something powerful. Okay, there's also still an error here, so we can see that there's two, there are two uh, many words here, so we have to delete about half of the words here. Okay, so we're down to 254, so there's no more red dot, which means there's an arrow. So now we can go over to TikTok, and then we're gonna edit that content here. So TikTok requires a video, images are not supported. So we can go ahead and delete that. And then we might wanna go in here and I know there are some videos in here. So we can schedule these out that same day. So I'm going to need to download that, but this is the wrong size for TikTok. So I'm actually going to just skip TikTok for now. I do have a... Never wondered how whoops. to perfectly pair wine with your meat. But we could do that on YouTube. We could add that video there. So let's just... Go to the top here, and you can see that TikTok is highlighted. It's dark. So if you tap on that, let's see. I thought you just clicked on it. Sorry, I'm not an expert at this. I'm going to, we're going to just, or maybe I click on that one. Is that right? Gosh, I forget how to do that. So I need to figure out how to do that real quick. Oh, okay, finally it stopped. I right clicked on that and it and it blacked it out for, for some reason. I'm not sure why. 
So I'm not going to do a video now, so we'll go ahead and click on the YouTube to delete that as well. So now we have Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and Pinterest all ready to go out. There are no arrows below. But also I wanted to show you here, you can also do a reel and a story on Facebook, and you can also do reels and stories on Instagram. So you can schedule those all from here inside Metricool. So we've got that one scheduled, and I'm going to go ahead and click Save and Schedule 5. So that's going to put out five posts all at one time, and it's really efficient. So I hope this video has been helpful, and I can't wait for you to start using Metricool. It's a really powerful social media scheduler that works for all of the major social platforms. I'll see you in the next video.